Hey guys, what's up? Ryan Necker here. And I know this video is out a little bit late, but I've decided I'm going to put my videos out on Fridays now. Because that gives me the whole week to record and edit, instead of having a two-day break that fucks me all up. So, today's video, now that I got that out of the way, is about the dumb shit that I see online. And I wanted to do this video last week, but I did not have enough time to prep it and set it up. This is also the reason why the schedule is changing to Fridays, because now I have more time to edit this. Or it feels like more time. But today we're going to talk about the stupid shit that we see online. The stuff that just makes me go, why is that online? I'm going to try to squeeze in ten different things I'm going to talk about this video. Most of which are pictures, some are comments, and some are Facebook posts. But without further ado, I got my tablet with the pictures on them, and we're going to go through them right now. Now these are one of those pictures that just really tick me off. I don't get how people think that people that are on food stamps always have so much money and have a fridge stocked with food, but the middle class is nothing. Now don't get me wrong, I've been on food stamps before, and that was due to my dad losing his job because he had cancer. He didn't really lose his job, he had to quit. He wasn't healthy enough to work. But we got food stamps, and for a while, you know how much we got? A good old 40 bucks a month. And then eventually it turned down to about 10 bucks. I don't understand how you'd get that much money in food stamps in the first place. So I don't get how people are so quick to judge a full fridge and say food stamps and an empty fridge and say, oh, they make money. We're middle class, and our fridge is basically full. We have a freezer full too. So it's not we're on food stamps because we have food, it's because we make money. So just stop your judgmental shit. And plus, this picture, they could have just took a picture of a full fridge with all the snacks on top and said, oh, they're on food stamps even if they're not. Okay, this first one. I get that you stand with Paris, but what the fuck does a minion have to do with it? Minions are just something I really hate with a passion. I don't get the craze of why minions have to be in every single little picture that has nothing to do with minions or the franchise. Hell, I've never even seen the movies. Who knows? Maybe all the minion movies were just about the attacks in Paris. Maybe I'm just being too quick to judge, but I don't think a kid's movie is about terrorist attacks. Let me read this one for you. I cried when you passed away. I still cry today. Although I loved you dearly, I couldn't make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating. Hard working hands at rest. God broke my heart to prove to me he can only take the best. Keep this rose going for anyone in heaven that you've loved and lost and keep in your heart. Why yes, it's a lovely poem. But what does the minion have to do with it? The minion has nothing to do with that. Did the minion lose someone? Is this post about a minion? No, it's about you losing someone who is now in heaven. Not a fucking minion. Dear McDonald's, thank you for not serving hot dogs. I don't think I could ever order a supersized McWiener with a straight face. What does a minion have to do with ordering a hot dog from McDonald's? Minions have nothing to do with dick jokes. Why is a minion in this? I still do not get this minion bullshit craze. Rules when I first wake up. Everyone shut the hell up, get out of my way, don't ask me any damn questions. Yet again, kid franchise. Why would a minion be cussing? Minion has nothing to do with how you wake up. Minion has nothing to do with people bother you when you wake up. Minion has nothing to do with people being quiet because you can't handle people talking to you in the morning. I don't get the whole concept of shoving a minion in every single picture that you post. Oh, Jesus loves me, minion. Oh, I got gang banged, minion. Oh, I sucked dick last night, minion. Oh, my mom died, minion. I don't get it. Why do you gotta shove a minion in everything? I have more conversations in my head than I do in real life. Well, congratulations. I mean, yet again, what does a minion have to do with that? Is it a minion talking to you in your head? No? Then why the fuck is it in the picture? I really just don't get minions. Oh, I offended you with my opinion. You should hear the ones I keep to myself. With a minion in it. What, yet again, is minions defining your opinions of other people in your head? No? Why is a minion in the fucking picture? I get the quotes in the picture, I get the sayings in the picture, I just don't get why you gotta have a minion in them. 95% of our generation will put genitals in their mouth but refuse to eat the Halloween Whopper. 
Well, excuse me if I put a dick in my mouth, but I don't want to eat a bun that's dyed black that turns your shit green or black or whatever it was. I would rather put genitals in my mouth than something that's just gonna make me shit weird colors. I will take a normal bun, please. Not a black bun, not a green bun, not a red bun. I'll take a regular hamburger bun. And what's your deal? You probably put genitals in your mouth too, whoever made this. So why the fuck do you care? I don't care what you do in your free time. I hope you eat a Whopper and suck a dick at the same time. Kudos to you. Now this post comes to you from Craigslist. I have to do a lot of blocking out of this, but let me just read you the gist. Hi, big boy. My name is Bleep Bloop Blop Bloop Blop. Just got out of jail, and I was the bitch that sucked and got fucked all the time. I'm just a little bitty guy. I act black. Please explain that to me. How do you act black? What is acting black? But they still took advantage of me, and now I love sucking dick and having men balls deep in my asshole. Well, there's other people like that too, so don't be ashamed of your kinks and what you enjoy sexually. So what I want is for a group of guys to come, and I want a dick in my ass, and a dick in my mouth at all times. Well, at least you got your priorities straight. And everyone can take my girl and give it to her too. Now did she give you consent for that? Or are you just saying rape her? Because I don't agree with that. If you're telling those guys to go rape her like you got raped in prison. I know it's role play for you. But if she didn't agree don't do it. Don't tell her. But she thinks she is just watching me. But I used to sell my wife to black guys. And they would have their way with her and I would try to stop it. And then they raped me and turned me out. Now I love being forced fed dick and having two or as many, many in line balls deep in my very open asshole. So she doesn't know. So it's basically you're trying to get her raped. She didn't agree to it. Also, why are you selling your wife and shit? That makes no sense. Just stop. Some fetishes are alright, but when they involve other people without giving their consent to a situation, stop. I can host, so come on big boys, come teach us a lesson. And if you take her and she starts crying, just take me too. So I don't look like the little bitch, cause already thinks that looking for now, ASAP. I'm just gonna stop reading this here, you can continue to read the rest of it, if you want. If she doesn't consent to it, don't make her do it. I know you said it's a surprise, but she doesn't say okay, so that's not okay. And selling your old wife to black guys or whatever you said, cool on you. If she was okay with it, whatever. But I mean, if you want to call me, call me. Well, that's all for this episode of I Hate the Internet. If you'd like to see more of the show, Please leave a like and leave down in the comments that you enjoyed it. I'm already recording a second episode of this as we speak. So there will be a second episode, but after that it just depends on the reaction I get from you guys. So if you enjoyed this, let me know. And remember, always check out my shows every Friday. That's right, no longer Wednesdays, they're on Fridays. But for now, I am Ryan Necra, and I will feel you later.